and we're up at Scrabo and you can see the wind or not the wind we can see the rain coming in there but we're just looking out over the landscape and noting the number of wind turbines now there's too close by here but if I look away into the distance I can see another three just there so there's five and if I pan round slowly five There's two up on the hill. That's seven. And pan on round. And there's eight. Stepping back to get out of the wind. So that's eight. And you pan on round again. And there's nine. Ten. And I see another one there. Where is it? Eleven. It's down here somewhere. Where is it? Well, I can see it. I do see it. It's beside a wee farmhouse. I thought it was that farmhouse, but I don't know. Can't see it. And there's there's two or three eleven. There's two or three away in the distance. There's that one, 11, and there's one which I can see with my naked eye, but funny enough I can't see, but I'm counting it, it's still 12, and I'm coming on round, 12, and I think there were 13, 14 away in the distance, 14 wind turbines. And we can see just looking out one direction from the base of Scrabble. And that's uh, Newton Arch Airport. And this is Newton Arch. And you're just wondering how many more wind turbines are there going to be? We're going to have forests of these. That's all well and good. You know, choosing clean energy. Oh, there's the rain coming down over there. It's all well and good choosing clean energy. That's really good. But the price you pay is losing your views and bird life is adversely affected as well because the wind turbines do kill and there's a wee plane taking off
this airport suffered tragedy last week. Two of the guys, one of a, an instructor and another one a photographer. And they were mature men. And they, they, uh, they played and crashed. Anyway, 